we talked about the efficacy of language when you don't understand what it is. Does it does that make it render it ineffective if you don't understand Latin in particular? In that case, Latin was the language we were talking about because a common complaint is, well, I don't understand what's what's happening. So therefore, no value. I don't understand it. Yeah. So it ain't good. It's still good, trust me. You know, even if you don't understand it, because think about the sacraments. If you were to go and uh, go to the receive the sacrament of reconciliation in another country, and you look for the little confessional for the English speaking light, you know, and many times you will you could be mismatched with a priest of a different language, but it's still valid because God understands. It's okay if the priest doesn't know what you're saying, or if you can really understand what the priest is saying. That language has meaning to God, and so. I think that we get kind of hung up on it has to be the words have to be according to what I like and what I prefer in order for it to be valid or efficacious. And I'm proposing the idea that maybe it doesn't work that way necessarily. I think precisely because it's a challenge, precisely because it's a greater suffering and the temptation is just to take the easier path and not, I think that's where it is more spiritually powerful because God knows, wow, he's doing it and he really is struggling and look at him go anyway. And it's okay, I think, if it's a little empty, but you did it. You still... the. The words came out of your mouth and they ascended to heaven. You're so awesome for hanging out with us today. And we'd like to give you a free rosary. Go get one over at rosaryarmy.com. Make sure you subscribe, like, and tell people about our YouTube channel.